Hey everybody, it's Gavin Simon. Welcome to my Lightroom series where I try to make Lightroom as fast and simple as possible. In this video, we're actually gonna go to the beginning and I'm gonna show you the Lightroom catalog, how you can use it and why you have to in the first place. Of course, if you wanna see more of this series, check out the playlist. I'll put it in the video description as well. Let's go to Lightroom right now and just look at what we have. If I open Lightroom here, I have a catalog. This particular catalog is called Media Catalog. However, if you just downloaded Lightroom and started using it, that is Lightroom Classic, it probably made a default catalog in your pictures folder on Windows or Mac. Now that works, but I don't think it's necessarily the best place to put a catalog because I think it kind of disconnects you from where your catalog at is that whether you're keeping it backed up and all that kind of stuff. Bear in mind, if you're using Lightroom CC, the cloud version or the web version, there isn't a catalog. It just puts your images on the cloud and you can access them. That can be great, but if you're editing a lot of images, you're probably gonna wanna use Lightroom Classic. So we're gonna focus a lot on that here in these videos because the features in the fundamental sense are mostly the same in the other versions of Lightroom, although they do have less. In Lightroom Classic, we have the most organization, the most control, and anything in our catalog, we can still sync with the cloud and access it from Lightroom Mobile, from Lightroom Web, etc. So I find that gives me the most versatility. Let's come back to Lightroom and let's say I wanted to make a catalog a special catalog. This is my main catalog that just kind of has all my working projects. But let's say I was doing weddings for the season or portraits. In that case, I'd probably make a catalog for each one. So I could actually go to file and just make a new catalog. Now, if you make a new catalog from Lightroom, you can actually put it wherever you want. I would recommend that you put a catalog on a fast drive. So let's just call this new catalog one, okay? So I'm gonna make a folder so it's all self-contained. Now inside that, I'm going to create the name of this catalog. Again, I'm just gonna call this new catalog. All right, so let's create this. Now, what just happened, and it's gonna close my current catalog and open the next catalog. And as I do that, I will have this empty catalog. Now that I have this catalog, I can import photos, I can add photos, I can, I can do whatever I need to do. And the beauty is that by creating my catalog, I define where it's at. So there's two options here. You can put the images in that same folder you put the catalog. This is a great idea if you're doing sessions that need to be archived later, or if you have a catalog that maybe you wanna be able to easily transfer to an external drive to take with you on the road. You simply copy the entire folder and it has all the corresponding images and the catalog. On the other hand, if you have a huge catalog like my master catalog, you might wanna put the catalog itself on a fast internal drive like I did here, and then reference the images from another main folder like on my RAID array where all my images are stored. Try to keep it as simple as possible. Let's go here and you can see we have this empty catalog. So I could go and say, what do I have? Well, I have nothing. I could go to folders and say, add a folder. That's one way to import. And I could just go, let's say, to the desktop. And here's a folder I made called test files. So if I clicked select folder, I could just go right into there and it would bring up the import dialog box. Okay, so that works good. The other way I could do that is simply go to file and import photo and video. And then I would essentially have the same thing. On the left here, I can select the source. So I could say desktop right here test files, and I'm gonna get the same folder. And then I have the option to either copy the files, these are the two main options, or move the files, okay? Or add the files. So normally, I'm just going to add the files. I generally don't want to move my files. I've copied them from a card, I've put them where they belong, and I'm gonna leave them where they are at. If I wanted to, however, if I was coming from a card, or if I wanted to combine them somewhere, I could copy them and it would actually make a copy of those. The fastest as well as arguably the best way to organize is just to click add. So I'm gonna click add. I have don't import suspected duplicates. I'm not gonna build smart previews right now or add to collection or apply any of my presets, which I could do. I could apply like a filmist preset and say, hey, let's do portrait on all of these just by selecting one of those. But I'm just gonna do a quick import. They're all selected right here. I can check all, I can uncheck all. Let's just check all of these since we have an empty catalog and import. 
it's gonna bring those in and it's gonna start rendering those previews. Now in terms of exactly all your preview rendering settings and little things we can do behind the scenes, I'll cover that in a different video. I just wanted to make sure you knew how to make a catalog and how to quickly import photos into that catalog. Now, let's go back to the drive real quick here. I'm gonna open my finder and I'm gonna go to this snap drive right here, okay? If I look where I made this new catalog folder, you can see that inside that, it made a folder called new catalog, which might seem redundant, but this new catalog folder has all the actual catalog and preview data. And then let's say I wanted to make an images folder to import a wedding or something like that. I could have these in the same parent folder, which would make this very portable and modular for archiving and things like that. So I could have the new catalog folder, which could be the client's name. Then I could simply say, okay, here's new catalog. Here's the images folder. I could copy those images from an SD card, for example. And then when I was set, I would just come in here and add that folder right here in Lightroom. And you can see it just imported all of these images and they're ready to go and now we can go on to editing and making collections and all that good stuff. But that is for another video. This is the catalog, why you need it. Well, ultimately why you need it is because by having that catalog file, it makes things work smoother. You might say, well, I'd rather have an app that doesn't have a catalog because sometimes the catalog is confusing. But remember, the catalog is really just the folder that recognizes all the settings you've made in Lightroom so you can quickly edit. It has the previews, all that sort of stuff. If you deleted the catalog, it wouldn't delete the images, but all your edits, unless you've exported from the catalog, would be lost because they're part of that catalog. I'll show you how to export your final versions of the image to deliver or archive in another video. But for now, you can just decide where you wanna put your catalog, how you wanna store the images with it, or where you wanna store those images, and just go to work. All right, we'll see you on the next one.